I'm Simji, and the NBA team Philadelphia 76ers asked me for a rug for the playoffs. So what they want is a three foot rug of their playoff logo. It looks good. It's actually bigger than three feet, but you know. I traced every single detail out and that's when I realized just how many scales were on the snake. Yeah, the snake is very scaly. Oh my god, this is gonna look insane. They gave me very specific instructions about the colors. Red, black, parchment, white, and blue. I'm gonna start with all the red details first and lettering kind of makes me nervous, so we'll just see what happens. This was done months ago and it no longer makes me nervous, but my worry was that the writing on the rug would look slightly different from the font on the logo. Okay, I'm done with all the red. We won't know 100% what it's gonna look like until I fill up everything in between. So until then, let's move on to the blue. It was time to outline everything and give it some structure before filling it in. And of course, it's time for... Pizza. Good morning. So it's the next day. I finished the outline and I did the six as well. And I know you don't see any scales right now. That's because I was done tufting at 4 a.m. last night. I was super tired, but I got my sleep and we are ready to go. I just want to say that these scales were no joke and this was very, very sped up for you all. It's the next morning again. The scales did take a really long time. They're just not filled in yet. So it just looks like a blue snake. I'm really excited to fill in the white. I'm really excited to see the snake come to life. I began my final journey with these scales and honestly this was possibly the most difficult design i had ever done okay let's go look whoa kind of looks like a fish this took like six hours just to fill in these scales we still need to fix the yarn and everything but it's looking so good oh my gosh and the lettering it's gonna look so cool once i'm done filling the rest in and the head we gotta do the steak head you don't even know me like that are you past my time? Put you on my mind. This is what I have to deal with every single day. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with everything but the outline and I can't believe I'm almost done with this rug and that in a few days I'm gonna be shipping this out to the 76 years like that's crazy. I still can't believe it. It's almost done Did I already say that? I already said that I think but I'm just so excited Let's go glue now and then we can move on to the final phase of the rug not phase rug but the phase of the rug <laughs> First, I try to spread the glue with a spatula. I have a bigger spatula. <laughs> let, let go. It seems to be working. It, it wasn't working. Okay, so the spatula wasn't doing the best. So I'm actually really liking the spoon technique. These days, I just lay down the canvas and pour the glue on, but the spoon technique works just fine. Okay, so it's finally fully dried. I'm gonna cut it off the frame and then go back it outside. I prepare the non-slip backing and then head outside to glue it on. I finally backed it and the final step is to get it binded. I have an appointment to get it professionally done, so let's go. The studio was an hour and a half away by train, so this was a serious mission. And if you see words that are not in English, it's because I'm in South Korea right now. When I arrived at the studio, I ended up doing way more than just binding. I carved the details so they're cleaner, which took me six hours there, and even continued carving back at home. I finished up by shaving and adjusting all the yarn into place, cleaned up, and after 30 hours of hard work, I am finally done. It was such an honor to make this for you and I hope you like it. 